I'm standing here today with a 2023 Toyota Prius Prime, the plug-in hybrid version of Toyota's very popular Prius. We're going to do the Inside EV's 70 mile an hour highway range test. Well, at least I'm hoping to. I'm here in California at Toyota's first drive event for the Prius Prime and they have a set plan for us and uh, a set driving route and a good portion of that driving route is on the highway and as long as I'm able to maintain 70 miles an hour I'm just going to keep driving on the highway <laughs> and do the full range test and the highway's only about a mile away from here so I'll only be driving about a mile at lower speeds the whole problem is I am in California and I know how traffic is in California so if I'm not able to maintain the 70 miles an hour I'll probably just then follow Toyota's route and we'll talk about how far the vehicle went in mixed driving so we're not going to know until we get onto the highway if I'm really trying the 70 mile an hour highway range test but let's talk a little bit about the 2023 Toyota Prius Prime it has improved driving range all electric range and it depends on which trim you have the SE has 17 inch wheels and that's EPA range rated at 44 miles per charge a huge 75 percent increase over previous years of uh, the 2022 Prius Prime had a 25 mile all electric range and that jumps up to 44 miles now really big now this is the XSE that I'm going to be driving this has 19 inch sport wheels so the EPA range rating is slightly lower because of the wheels and it's at 39 miles per charge so I'll be driving the the XSE with the EPA range rating combined EPA range rating of 39 miles per charge we'll see how far she goes now driving range isn't the only improvements that Toyota has made the vehicle is also a lot more powerful uh, it has 220 horsepower and that's 99 more horsepower over its predecessor so a lot more powerful goes 0 to 60 in 6.6 .6 seconds uh, compared to I think it was roughly around 10 seconds for the previous model so you know, it's no sports car, but it definitely can get out of its way with 6.6 .6 seconds, zero to 60. I, I could fine with that. I could live with that. And how about the looks? This thing looks so much better than any previous Prius that was out there. I wouldn't be embarrassed to drive this, which I kind of felt I would be with the previous models. It definitely was not styling to my liking previous years, but I could get used to this guy here. So in any event, we're gonna get on the highway. We're gonna see how far the 13.8 or 13.6, I'm gonna check when I get in the car, kilowatt hour battery pack takes us. Uh, and hopefully I can maintain 70 miles an hour and we'll do a true Inside EV's 70 mile an hour highway range test. Listen, if this is your first time here, don't forget, hit that subscribe button and follow Inside EV's on all of your social media channels. All right, checking in. I actually have some good news. This might actually turn out to be a proper Inside EV 70 mile an hour highway range test. I didn't think that was going to be possible uh, because they gave us this pre-mapped out route to drive, but I looked at the area and I was really close, only about two miles from Interstate 5 or I-5 here in California. So I just hopped on 5 North and I'm um, just blowing the uh, pre-programmed pre route away and just gonna do my own drive. And I'm, uh, you know, 10 minutes into this now and I'm able to maintain 70 miles an hour the whole time. It looks like we're gonna be able to do it. So the plan now is to drive till the battery's about 50% exhausted, turn around and head back so it's a typical loop style drive. And that's the, that little beep you might've heard is the Prius Prime telling me I'm being inattentive because I'm not looking forward, which I will uh, continue to do. <laughs> so um, the only problem is it started to rain. So that affects the range tests when uh, you have a little bit of water on the road that the tires have to pump out of the way. So let's talk about what we did here. First off, before we started, I checked the tire pressure. It was set to the manufacturer's specified tire pressure. Toyota didn't overinflate them for this media drive so the cars got uh, more range. Uh, so we're set, the tire pressure's correct, we always do that. I put the vehicle in all electric mode because you can, you can choose to have the, the Prius in like a hybrid mode where it'll jump between electric and uh, using the gas engine to get the maximum efficiency, but you can also lock it into uh, battery only mode, which is what I did. Uh, it was fully charged when we started, I checked that. I'm about 
three quarters, I have about three quarters of the battery now. We're about a quarter of the way gone and I've driven 11 miles, which is kind of on par with the 40-ish mile range. Um, you don't get a numeric display for the state of charge, at least if they do have one, I haven't figured out how to turn it on yet. You just have this bar graph. So I'm estimating uh, when we're at 75% and then 50% when I'm going to turn around. But right now, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. We've driven 11 miles. It's showing that we can go uh, 28 more miles. So right on target for about a 40 mile range. If the new Prius Prime does 40 miles at highway speeds uh, in the rain, and it's 52 degrees today. I'm in actually in Carlsbad, uh, California. I don't mention, know if I mentioned that earlier. A little bit cooler than I'm used to here in Carlsbad. Uh, so it's a co cool day. It's raining. Things that would hurt uh, range. And we seem to still be able to be locked into uh, 40 miles of range at 70 miles an hour. Now, I will note one thing I said incorrectly earlier when I first got in the vehicle. I think I said that the new Prius Prime has a 13.8 kilowatt hour battery pack. It's actually 13.6. I had just got out of the briefing and they threw a lot of numbers at me. So um, I think I made a mistake on that. And then I looked at the uh, spec sheet I have here. And as I said, this version here has slightly less range, 39 miles compared to 44 miles. It's the more premium version of the new Prius Prime. And I tell you, this thing's actually driving really well. Uh, I never had any desire to drive a Prius. And I look, I know there were great cars and they, they performed a task that people wanted, efficient uh, mobility that had uh, great utility. You could pack a lot of stuff in a Prius. Uh, they've, Toyota's gone out of that mold with this new Prius Prime. This is more sporty than utilitarian. The cargo space is less. Uh, you're very low profile. I'm sitting low. I mean, it looks so much better than any previous generation Prius. I mean, it's not even <laughs> close. Uh, and it's driving pretty well so far. Now, yeah, I'm just locked in and driving 70 miles an hour, but everything feels nice and tight. Later on, I'm going to have a chance to uh, uh, really get it out on some windy roads and see how well it performs. I don't expect it to be a sports car, but with the 220 horsepower, it does go zero to 60 in 6.6 .6 seconds. That's much better. I think the previous generation was around 10 seconds. So uh, this isn't, you know, going to drag race a Model 3, but it gets out of its way just fine and feels nice on the highway. So um, I'm going to check back in when we're at 50% state of charge and I turn around and head back to uh, headquarters and hopefully Toyota won't be mad at me for going off course. All right, well, I've turned around past 50% state of charge and right when, I believe it was right about 50% state of charge, we were at 21 miles driven. So locking in at 40 miles of EV range at 70 miles an hour in the rain with the larger 19 inch wheels and 195.50 tires. So um, super impressed. I bet you if I had one of these uh, at home, which I, I've already requested a long-term loan so we could do a, uh, a comprehensive driving review and r more range testing with the new Prius Prime, I, I'm certain that I could get well more than 50 miles of driving range with this just at lower speed driving, just based on what I've been doing so far here. Uh, it seems like uh, the, the EPA range rating is going to be easily attainable uh, if you can do it at 70 miles an hour in the rain. So really cool. Uh, another thing I want to mention, I don't know if I uh, uh, said earlier, we always, when we do our 70 mile an hour range test here at Inside EVs, set the climate control to either 68 or 70 degrees right in that um, uh, range there just to make the cabin comfortable. And we set it at the lowest fan setting. And that's what I did. I also set the vehicle to the eco driving mode. We always put the vehicles in the most efficient driving mode that is offered by that car when we do our range testing. So um, climate control set, we're in eco mode, cruising at 70 miles an hour. Um, I We did have a little bit of a slow up in that last between 75% uh, and 50%. Uh, for about four or five minutes, I was driving at about 60, 62 miles an hour. So it's not perfect. And as I mentioned earlier, about the first mile of this uh, range test was at on back roads getting out onto the highway. When we do the range test, we really like to charge the car up, 
right on the highway and uh, and get on the highway and just drive at 70 miles an hour the whole time. So it's not a perfect range test by any means, but it's pretty good. We're maintaining 70 miles an hour for you know 99% of the time so far. Still have a little bit uh, to go here, a little less than half of the trip, but the highway is clear. So I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to drive this thing out at 70 miles an hour for the remainder of the trip. I'll check back in when I'm at 25% state of charge and we'll see where we're at. All right, we're at what I believe to be 25% state of charge. As again, uh, I, we don't have a numeric state of charge value here and we have gone 29 miles. So a little bit less, we're faltering a little bit now. Um, the road conditions are pretty much the same, but it seems like in that quarter of the battery, we didn't go quite as far as we did before. Um, but again, uh, it's, it's very hard to be precise here. Uh, I did notice that we're averaging 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour on a consumption rate. I found that setting in the infotainment section. I don't think you can put that on the driver's display. I like when uh, electric vehicles have their consumption rate for the driver to see and you don't have to fumble on the infotainment screen but this is a plug-in hybrid it's not fully electric car so I understand why they're not giving you all that electric data I still prefer to see it but um, I don't think we can get it here and I've been fiddling with the, the driver's display I don't think that can be configured and added that you can show that okay so we're gonna continue driving now and um, once the battery's exhausted and the engine turns on I'll come back and we'll do a quick summary all right well we've exhausted the battery and we finished up with 34 miles driven uh, at pretty much 70 miles an hour the whole way uh, so uh, this is a, a decent 70 mile an hour highway range test I didn't think I was going to be able to get that off from the onset now the only issue is the the rain that probably robbed the Prius Prime of a mile or two and also this course that I'm on here I don't know the elevation there definitely was some elevation change so it's possible on the second half of the trip we were gaining elevation and on the first half of the trip we were losing it I'm not sure when we do these range tests I typically have the area all mapped out this was kind of a last minute thing when I came out here I wasn't planning on being able to do this but we were able to get off the uh, 2023 uh, Prius Prime uh, Inside EV 70 mile an hour highway range test after all and finished up with 34 miles now um, I tell you, I'm really impressed with the driving characteristics of this new Prius. It's not a sports car, but in my opinion, so much better than the previous generations. As I said earlier, I really had no desire to drive a Prius, although I, I definitely respected the car and believed that it served a purpose. And a lot of people liked the Prius and they sold millions of them and that for good reason. There were good economical transportation that was easy on the wallet and had a lot of utility. But it's going to be interesting to see how this new Prius Prime does and the whole Prius model line because uh, Toyota definitely went more aggressive with styling. It's more comfortable. The driving dynamics are, are much better, but at the expense of some utility. It doesn't have as much cargo space. The roof line's very low. The Priuses were boxy and had a lot of storage, whereas you don't really get so much with the new Prius. They uh, moved the battery up put it under the rear seat. They moved the gas tank up also, and the Prius engineers were telling me that um, increased the uh, stability and made the vehicle more balanced for a sportier driving feel. And as I said, uh, it's raining, so I haven't really gotten it, the opportunity to really push it, but it definitely feels better than previous generations. We'll do a full driving review in better weather once we get a long-term lo loan on, on the Prius Prime, which should be happening in a couple of months. Uh, but for now, uh, we finished up the inside EVs, 70 mile an hour high re range test on the 2023 Prius Prime with the 19 inch sport wheels. And it came in at 34 miles of range, five miles less than its combined EPA range rating. But again, we weren't in ideal conditions and we were driving at 70 miles an hour. Listen, if you like what we're doing here at inside EVs, don't forget to follow us on social media. Click the subscribe button here on the Inside EVs YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.